On this World Refugee Day, new numbers show the United States is accepting far fewer applicants for asylum at the southern border than before the pandemic. CBS 8's Richard Allen has more on the new policy making it more difficult to seek asylum and how immigrant rights activists are responding. Richard. And almost six weeks after Title 42 officially ended, new data show that the rate of rejection for asylum seekers is far higher than it was than before Title 42 went into effect. These are desperate people and they're trying to get away from violence, from economic hardships. From May 12th, the first full day the Biden administration's new immigration policy went into place through June 13th, 46% of single adult migrants managed to pass initial asylum screenings at the U.S. border, according to documents obtained by the Los Angeles Times. In comparison, from 2014 to 2019, before the pandemic era policy was put into place, 83% of asylum seekers had managed to pass the initial screening permitting them to enter the U.S. and wait, sometimes for years, while their asylum cases work their way through the court system. And I'm not surprised at all. The United States has never been, never really been a welcoming country. Immigrant rights activist Enrique Morones is blasting the new policy, which requires asylum seekers to first prove that they sought asylum in a third country on the way to the U.S., such as Mexico. Otherwise, they are presumed ineligible for asylum here. Most want to come to the United States. When they're making them apply in another country, it makes it even more difficult. These other countries are not safe. But Customs and Border Protection officials say that the new policy has so far been effective, coupled with expanding access to asylum screenings through the CBP-1 app, which continues to come under criticism, as well as regional processing centers that are being set up in Latin American countries like Colombia and Guatemala. I do think that the migrants are getting the message that it's more important now than ever to use the pathways that we've created to come into the country legally. Human smugglers remain one of the primary dangers for migrants seeking asylum who continue to pose a threat, according to the Department of Homeland Security. We are uh, watching what's happening uh, in Mexico and other countries very closely. We know that the smugglers will spread misinformation uh, to put migrants' lives in peril for profit. And officials also point to the severe consequences for asylum seekers who cannot first prove that they sought asylum in a third country, including a five-year ban on re-entering the United States.